cruisers, so we're about one week out from our upcoming Mexican Riviera cruise, so I figured I would take you along as I pack for myself and our two-year-old daughter, Madison, in our checked bag. Now, this is going to be a three-part video series with the first focused on me packing for myself and then packing for our daughter, Madison, and then packing our carry-on bags, so stay tuned for those videos. Now I started our packing process about two weeks ago. I've been checking the weather on my phone for each of the ports to see, you know, what I need to be packing. And it looks like it's high 80s, humidity, and the occasional rain. The next thing I've been doing is pulling clothes out of my closet and Madison's closet. I pull things out that haven't been worn in a while or have never been worn. For myself, once I've pulled out a good amount of clothes for the week, I'll be realistic and start putting back some of the tops and bottoms that I know won't be needed. For our everyday clothing, Madison and I will be sharing one large suitcase and our toiletries, jewelry, and other valuables are going to go in our carry-on bags, which again, you'll have to stay tuned for that video. If you've seen any of our other videos, then you know we love compression packing cubes, so there's no doubt I'm going to be showing you how we use these compression packing cubes. But before I start putting our clothes inside the packing cubes, I'm going to show you what our suitcase would look like if we did not use packing cubes. As you can see, the suitcase has quickly filled up and it's not very organized. Now let's start filling up the packing cubes. Now for the sake of time, I've already separated out what's gonna be going in each packing cube. So we have one for shirts, one for bottoms, one for undergarments, one for clothing for dinner, and some other things that are in there. So let's get started. Oh, and make sure you download our super handy packing list that we have in the video description below. We have one for infants and toddlers, and we have one for the rest of us. Okay, so let's start with, I am bringing two jackets, a lightweight jacket and a windbreaker because I've seen that it will be raining, although it's still gonna be in the 80s, so this is more just so if I don't wanna get wet, but I don't anticipate needing to use it for the weather being cold. So I'm not putting these in packing cubes. I'm just gonna put them at the bottom of the suitcase because they're thin and it's just extra cushion for anything else I throw on top. Okay, so now I've taken our largest compression cube, which is right here, and our family, as I've mentioned this before, we each have our own set in our own color and this has four different sizes. So that is super convenient and for separating all of our things. For a seven day cruise, I've packed eight shirts and that's not including the shirt I will be wearing on embarkation day. And I've also packed one, two, three rompers. So I have a variety of what I can choose from depending on how I feel, depending on how the weather will be. And so I'm gonna show you how to use the compression cube. And so I will take our item, so this is a shirt, and I fold it in half and I'm going to use the roll method and that's going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to throw it inside the compression cube and then I'm going to take this next shirt it's a tube top it's kind of flowy so it's going to have a messy wrinkle but I'm again rolling it up packing it in the compression cube taking the next shirt and so on and so forth. Now some of the items that were super wrinkly, I actually have already ironed so that I can avoid having to iron. And of course, if you've seen our gadgets video, then you know we bring wrinkle release spray to take out those extra wrinkles. Um, so I'm not anticipating having to use the iron, which you will find in your stateroom floor's laundry room. Okay, so now I have all the shirts and rompers, my daily outfits that I will have to choose from in this largest compression cube. And I still have so much space and I haven't even compressed it down. So now because I have the extra space, I'm going to throw in the outfits that I picked out for dinner. And of course, this is high hopes that I'll be able to change for dinner each night, but we have a toddler and, you know, you can't really plan <laughs> too much. I know when Justin and I had cruised before baby, 
we could totally change and shower and get ready for dinner each night, but that's not realistic. That's not our lives anymore. So for dinner, and this is not elegant night, I actually have packed one more dressy romper and I have three extra dresses and um, I still have my two dresses for elegant night in addition to this, but these dresses I haven't worn in a while in like a few years. So I'm like, you know what? This will be the perfect opportunity to wear them. So that's why I'm taking them, whether I wear them or not. So now that I have my dinner outfits and all of my shirts and rompers in here, I'm zipping it up and then, and there's still so much extra room in here that I could throw more things in. And I'm looking around thinking, what else can I throw in? But I do want to keep my stuff organized. That's the purpose of these things, in addition to just packing a lot. <laughs> so now I'm taking the secondary zipper and I'm zipping it up and it's basically compressing it down. Now you would see more compression if this thing was packed fuller, but um, again, I put what I needed and it's doing its job, so I'm not gonna overstuff it. So here we go. This is the largest compression cube, and this is number one. So I'm just gonna throw this in here for now while I figure out the next. So let's move on to my bottoms. And for this cruise, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six pairs of shorts, actually seven if you count the one that I'm gonna be wearing on embarkation day, and one pair of jeans just because, I don't know, it's always good to have a pair of pants just in case. Now, I do have a variety of shorts to work with, and I also obviously pack rompers, which would take away the need for shorts, but I wanna have options, and clearly I have the space, so why not? So, I have this compression cube, I have the pocket open and I'm unzipping the compression part of it. And so I'm gonna start uh, folding up the shorts and I'm gonna fold them in so all these little flaps don't go everywhere. But again, roll method. Last time I wore these was like three years ago. So I think a good amount of time has gone by that I can wear them again. <laughs> uh, grab that pair of jeans since I'm not anticipating having to wear them. I'm going to throw them at the very back, very bottom. Okay, so we have our bottoms in here and there's still some extra space in here. So I think I'm going to take the two workout outfits that I am packing and I don't think I'll get time to work out. Justin for sure gets time to work out because he wakes up before us. But once I wake up, I utilize that time while Maddie's still sleeping to get ready. It's good to have some comfy lounging type clothes. Um, it's a cruise, so we eat a lot. So, you know, we just want to be comfortable. So I have two pairs of comfy type of, you know, workout pants. And I'm going to fold those and throw them in here. And I have two workout type tops, more casual, just for lounging around, whatever. I'm going to throw these in here too, just to keep them together. So I have this, and I'm going to show you all of my items. They're rolled up, and they're in the packing cube, and I'm going to zip it up. So this one is a little bit fuller than the other one, but again, still space that I could throw more stuff in, but I'm not. Um, I'm going to zip up the compression part now. push some of this stuff down so that I can zip this up. Okay, cool. So now we have our pants. Now at the very end, I will take a piece of tape and label them so I know what's in there. So now what's left is my swimwear and swim cover-ups, and I'm bringing two pairs of pajamas. And I'm bringing three to four bathing suits. I know I don't need that many. Two is for sure recommended, that way if one's wet, you could wear the other one. But I wanna have a variety because, well, I'm a girl. I have already packed my undergarments, my socks and underwear in here. I didn't show you that because, well, that's private. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw that in here. And now I have 
my third largest, so second from the smallest compression cube left. And I'm gonna throw in my uh, swimwear first. So I am bringing three different swim cover-ups So obviously I have a lot of shorts, I have rompers, I have a lot of outfit options. And I mean, realistically, there might be a day when I just wear a swim cover up and a bathing suit, but at least with having my options, then I can make that decision. So, and I'm not, you know, taking away space from anyone. So I have, I'm rolling up my bathing suits and it's fun to mix and match. So let's shove those in there. When I started, I didn't think I was gonna have a cube left over to do, uh, to pack my swim square in, but it looks like I do. So that's cool. I should have a glass of wine right now, but it's only like two o'clock and Madison's sleeping and I still have actual work to do today. So <laughs> let's see. So that might have to wait for this evening. So we have our swim wear in here and swim cover-ups. There is still space in here, so I'm gonna throw my pajamas in there as well. And again, rolling it up. Okay, so now we're zipping it up. This one might be the fullest. And then I'm gonna take this compression zipper. And sometimes you just gotta, you know, push the things down so you could uh, close it. So this one might be a little bit too stuffed, <laughs> but I know I'll be able to zip it, so I'm not worried. It's just taking more effort, but as you can see, when you've stuffed them, you know, it takes a little more effort to zip them closed, the compression part at least, um, as opposed to when they're not that stuffed, they, the compression part zips up super easily, or super easy. There. So now all of my stuff, with the exception of my jewelry and my shoes and my two elegant night outfits are not in here, um, I'm going to just move these cubes around so that they fit nicely. I still have so much space on my side of the suitcase. Look at that. Let me show you. So now typically the attire we wear for Elegant Night, we will actually bring our garment bag and pack Justin's suits in there and my elegant dresses and Madison's elegant dresses, but this cruise, we decided let's try to avoid having to take that extra garment bag. And since I've managed to roll up my other dresses, the only two that are left are this beautiful sequins one and this other black one that's actually a little shorter. So I'm going to take these compression cubes out and I'm gonna pack the dress underneath them. So I don't need this hanger. Your stateroom does come with hangers. And both of these dresses are off Amazon. Amazon has some great quality, elegant dresses. And these dresses are linked in the video below. So check them out. Um, so now I'm gonna take my compression cubes and put it on top so that there's nothing moving and scratching against my dress because I don't want it to get all messed up. I'm gonna take this bad boy and I'm gonna take oversized one and I have some space left and I'm gonna throw this one right here so let's buckle this thing now my suitcase still has tons of space so I gotta get my shoes and I will pack Madison's clothing in the next video um, but for now this is the clothing part so let's get the shoes Okay, so now I have my shoes. I love flip-flops and because they're small, I get to pack as many as I want. So I am packing four pairs of flip-flops. 
two pairs of heels for my elegant dresses, and I'm bringing one pair of closed toe tennis shoes, which I'll wear on embarkation day. I feel like it's always good to just have a tennis shoe when you travel because you never know when you will need it, even though I am planning on wearing flip flops most days. I also have uh, the water shoes for Justin and myself. I should make Justin pack his own, but they're with mine, so I'll just pack them for the both of us. And they're already in bags because I don't like, you know, shoes touching all of our other things. So when I buy things off Amazon, I like to keep the little bags that the clothing comes in because they come in handy to put shoes in. And so I'm going to take my flip flops and just start throwing them in bags. It just feels cleaner. Now, because I'm wearing my tennis shoes on embarkation day, I am going to pack one pair of flip-flops in my carry-on. That way, if I want to change into them, I will have the option. So I'm going to leave these out of this picture. And I'm going to seal these in. So here's my flip-flops, and I'm just going to throw them in. need to label my packing cubes so I know what's inside of them for easy reference. I am going to be taking two hats which I will wear one on embarkation day and the other one I might just put in our carry-on or attach it to Madison's stroller. Obviously I don't want it to get smashed so it's not going there. Um, it's been so long since I carried my own purse because Madison has her diaper bag which you know a toddler you need all of their things so that took the place of my purse for so long. So I might just take a purse so that I can feel normal. Um, I'm gonna throw that in here. And I think that is it. So let's label our cubes. Shirts had their own, shirts and uh, rompers. Underwear and socks, shorts and Workout clothes were their own, and then this one was pajamas and bathing suits. So as you can see, what's packed in the suitcase so far is already super organized with these packing cubes. So can you see why we love compression packing cubes? So now I'm going to move on to packing Madison's side of the suitcase, so stay tuned for that video. If this video has helped you prepare and pack for your upcoming cruise, please let me know and comment down below. If you enjoyed our video, please give it a like and I'll see you on the second part of this video series.